fucking system of the down, man. They are so fucking bad. You guys need to start fucking watching them because they are the best fucking bands in the fucking world right now. I think we're infecting minds. I really do. The music is so fucking original. The shit is so goddamn original. They're, 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 they look like psychos sometimes when they come up to us and express how they feel about things, which is good. There's nobody in this fucking world who knows anything more than these fucking guys. They are fucking totally original. First of all, the name System of a Down, a lot of people just automatically think we're talking about the system politically. You know what I mean? And that's not what System of a Down means. Even when we're saying, fuck the system on stage, you know what I mean? It's not... It, that may be a political statement, but System of a Down as a name of the band is not a political statement. It's more of a social statement. We also don't concentrate on, on one thematic th theme. We, we like doing different stories of different things, having nothing to do with each other. Um, that comes in through the music and through the lyrics. Um, and, you know, why, why concentrate on one emotion? Most bands, I've noticed, have one package. You can cut and paste some of their songs and kind of make a medley out of them, and no one would really, you know, they'd know the difference, but you know, it would be very similar, but if you do that, did that to our songs, it would be chaotic because, you know, you take a waltzy part out of people and, you know, it would just, um, by, by doing different things and talking about different things, you know, one, people aren't interested in one topic. You don't wake up and think about politics all, all day. You don't wake up and think about love all day or hate all day or anything all day, you know. So why not include that in your music? Why not live your life through your songs completely? Um, the fact that we're Armenian, we're very proud of, obviously. It's our culture, and it does play a part in our music and our themes. However, um, so do many other things. And it's balanced because, you know, most of our songs are about our daily lives or, you know, thoughts that we have. Thematically, Armenia, you know, the, the genocide has been an issue for me that has opened my eyes to other injustices in the world. Everything we put out, we want to be completely proud of that. So that if we were to look back on it in our old age, we'll say, wow, we really felt something when we made that album. We really felt something when we were up on that stage. I'd like the band to not necessarily have a goal so that it could reach many goals and change over time and go anywhere. You know, we've never, when we started the band, we didn't, we had ideas as to what we want to do, but they were ideas as to direction, but never ending anything. One thing that's really amazing is to be on stage playing a show and being the drummer, I'm just kind of like, whoa, checking things out. And there's rows of people singing every word of every song. And that's just incredible. It's not music for one type of person. It's not just for younger you know, people. It's yeah. not just for older people. You know, It's for everyone. Everyone gets their own message from us, you know, whether they like what we're talking about or what we're, our, our, our music, our diversity, you know, every, everyone has their own um, reason for liking us and that's cool. We add, I think we add a few flavors to the heavy thing that a lot of people don't usually add, you know, a lot of people don't usually mix jazz and hardcore or waltz and, you know, distortion, you know, like, we'll, we'll, we'll do that stuff. You know, I just want people to view System of a Down as like a band that wants to make an artistic statement as artists.
of something. We're sort of trying to make people aware of things. You know what I mean? We're not sitting here saying we are your example to follow. This is how I live my life. Because I do a lot of crummy things in my life, you know? And I don't do it like I don't live a picture perfect life like how I don't live a life like how I would want life to be. But that's not because of me, that's what society is made. Once you build awareness, that's the first step. Once you build awareness and, and people start seeing things and, and help themselves realize things and turn other people on to things, then you can uh, have mobility, then you can activate and have actual groups protesting or <clears throat> forming groups where they're like, we're not going to take this, you know, we're going to stop paying taxes, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. If enough people get together, the system will stop. Public is given usually less credit, you know, than than it deserves. Uh, people, your average person, your average Joe, knows a lot more about world politics, I think, than the government thinks they do. They know what America is doing. They know that they don't want their troops in the Middle East. They know that they don't want their troops in Southeast Asia. They know what the Iran Contra case is about. They know all this stuff, um, but it's all the quote-unquote free media uh, makes it such that they're not interested in it, you know? Let's do the OJ thing, you know? Let's, <clears throat> let's always put something in the news where we can distract the public from what's really going on in the world. A lot of people in this country criti criticize, let's say, Islamic, uh, gov Islamic governments for not letting women the right to vote and etc., etc., which is obviously wrong. But, you know, we have a lot of that here in this country that we don't talk about. and, and why?